Hi, thank you for joining. Today we are going to look at the drive formats available to Windows 10 users, and which format you should select, depending upon how you intend to use the drive you are formatting. There are three format options provided via the standard Windows 10 user interface. So which one of these should you be using when formatting a particular drive? Let's step through each of them to help answer this question. The first format is the new technology file system, or NTFS for short. This is a mature, high-performance and highly scalable file system, proprietary to the Windows operating system. NTFS is the native file system for Windows, and you must use this format for any system drives. NTFS formatted drives can be supported natively on the Mac as read-only, with third-party tools allowing for full read and write access. NTFS drives are also supported on a variety of other consumer electronics equipment, including cameras, TVs, and Blu-ray players. NTFS is the most feature-rich of all the formats available, and supports capabilities such as file-level security, compression, encryption, and much more. With NTFS, both the individual file size and the overall disk size are effectively unlimited within the bounds of current technology. In general, you will use NTFS for all of your internal drives, as well as any external drives that may be used as system drives, system image backups, or drives that will only ever be getting used on another Windows or NTFS supported system. The second supported format is called File Allocation Table 32 or FAT32 for short. It was developed with a view to providing a highly portable disk format that could be used across all platforms and devices that use USB disk storage. It is probably the most portable and best supported format today, with most small to medium capacity USB drives being pre-formatted as FAT32 volumes. FAT32 lacks the feature richness of NTFS, and is also limited in terms of capacity and file size. Windows sets a maximum partition size for FAT32 drives at 32 GB, but you can use third-party tools to format a FAT32 volume with capacities up to 8 TB. FAT32 has a 4 GB file size limit however, which is one of the reasons the next format option was created. Still, in general terms, FAT32 is probably the most broadly supported format across all types of devices, and will provide the greatest level of interoperability. The last format option provided through the Windows 10 GUI is XFAT. XFAT is also supported across the major operating systems including Mac OS, so it is the option of choice when looking to support exchanging files greater than 4GB with a wide range of devices outside of the Windows environment. Similar to FAT32, XFAT lacks the feature richness of NTFS though it will likely evolve feature-wise going forward. Similar to NTFS, XFAT effectively has unlimited file and volume sizes. This makes it ideal for use with larger external drives that are being shared with non-Windows systems, as well as for supporting large media files from a video camera for example. You should note Windows will automatically constrain the format options available to you based on the nature of the disk being formatted. Our first example the is a small 16GB USB flash drive and hence can be configured for any of the three formats. The second example is of a large 12TB USB drive hence Windows limits you to NTFS and XFAT only. The last example is an internal hard drive and Windows is limiting this to NTFS only. If you want to check what format was used for any of your drives, simply right-click on the drive icon and select the Properties option. Under the drive type it will tell you the file system that the drive has been formatted for. You can also get a single view of the file system formats used across all the drives on your system through the Windows Disk Management tool. So let's look at a summary of the main options again. Use NTFS as the file system format for your internal drives, and any drives that will only ever be used in a Windows or NTFS only environment, be they internal or external. You should also use NTFS for sharing large disk volumes or large files with non-Windows systems that support this format. Use FAT32 for smaller USB drives that you wish to use on the broadest range of devices. It will give you the greatest level of compatibility across operating systems and devices. Use XFAT for large external drives that you wish to share outside of the Windows environment with non-NTFS supporting devices, such as for sharing large media files from a video camera, or where you need to share a large disk volume with an Apple Mac for example. Finally, if in any doubt before formatting a drive, always make sure to check that your target systems and devices support the file system format you are looking to use. 
Thanks for watching today. Hit a like on the video if you found it of use, and please hit the subscribe button and notification bell to receive notice of more videos like this.